What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Tyler, and this More League Softball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. This, the final installment of the Big Three More League Softball style. It's Thursday at the Mill. It's Wilson Milliken. Chris Levesque and his Bruins tried to take a stranglehold of those More League standings with a win today. But Don Harper and his Millican Rams, they're focused on holding serve at home. That's what everyone did in the first round to create a three-way tie. If the Rams can win today, they'll have another three-way tie atop the standings, throwing the lefty Megan Leiter, and she got some help from her friends. Sarah Foster over at second, turning the double play right here with the tag and the throw over to first, supporting Leiter, and then in the second, she would get more help from the defense. Snow going to turn around and get that Estacio to turn around and get it back to Foster. Defending the home field, that's what you want to see if you're a Ram fan. If you're a Bruin fan, you want to see Lauren Stavro in the circle because she's going to give you a good chance to win. Got into trouble in the third, but two on two out, payoff pitch, gets the ground out. That's what Lolo likes. Lolo and Leiter both settling in here. There were 15 Ks on the day. Ten of them were of the looking variety. Wow. No, no thanks. This highlight sponsored by Lens Crafters, JJ? Just window shopping right now. Leiter had seven. Lauren Stavro had eight. Stavro was the one who would get the offensive support first. We go to the sixth inning where the action gets hot. Corey Cochran with a one-out single. Joanna Peruccio grounds into the fielder's choice. So Cochran in scoring position. With two outs on the first pitch. Catcher Ali Alexamana going to spray that to the right side. And that's a fair ball. Looked like that might creak foul, but she knew it was fair off the bat. Turns into a ground rule double. Wilson scores first. Goes up 1-0 top six. Third base dugout getting a little hyphy in the sixth. One out single by Astacio. Here come the Rams right back at you. Snow going to come up there and hit a hot shot to short. That's going to eat him up. So we've got two on with one out. Then Foster up. The ball gets away. The runners move up. Foster would eventually strike out. So with two outs, Perez with the chopper. Oh, Ooh. Zoe Stavro can't get the short hop. That's a really tough play at second. Both runs come home. Milliken goes crazy. They take the lead right back 2-1. to one. We go to the seventh. Wilson right back at you. You, Neek Whitehurst, leading it off with an infield single. And then Stavro up there. Help yourself. She's going to poke this one back up the middle. A seeing eye single. Pitchers only like it when they're hitting. Nikki Volgara is going to come in for run for Lauren. And then her sister Zoe going to come up there to bunt with one out. She's going to move the runners over. So we've got two outs now. Gabby Juarez coming up. She's had a big hit against Milliken already this year. And she comes through again with the infield single, right? Ooh, that's a close play. Slow motion video right now, JJ. It's close. Looks like she might have beat it. Was her foot on the bag quick enough? Tough to call. Well, it would be safe. It would be the tying run. Cochran would come up trying to make up for that error in the sixth. A little poke will do ya. Volgaris gonna score. Cochran with the infield single. Bruins go crazy. That one went into the Bermuda Square in between four defenders. She's gonna move into second base. No one was covering. 3-2 lead and Stavro just trying to hold it down bottom seven. Alice Dornblazer gonna get the leadoff single and be sacrificed over. And then Sabrina Valencia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That's an infield single because... Thornblazer gets back safe, so we've got two on, and then Goodman grounds into the force play, so with two outs, Estacio going to come up with the tying run at third, but Stavro bears down, and her freshman sister going to make up for her error by getting the final out. Everybody loves a second chance, and the Bruins took full advantage of theirs. Well, and everybody loves a great game, JJ, and this was certainly one of them. A lot of late runs, late drama. We've had that all season in more league softball, and there's late drama to this season. There not the best league in CIF Division 2 for no reason, so the Bruins now sit atop the more league standings. They've got two more games, the big one coming up next Thursday against Polly to be the outright more league champions for the first time in 20 years. Craziness. If you want all the coverage of that craziness, more league softball style, you gotta stay right here, because this is GazetteSports.com and we are Long Beach Sports.